Well, Margaret Burnham is a professor of law and the director of the Civil Rights and Restorative Justice Project at Northeastern University. She joins us by Skype from Boston. Madam, thank you so much for joining us here on Al Jazeera. Do you agree with the words uh, by Barack Obama saying that it could be a real turning point, uh, that these protests could actually, if channeled in the right way, be a turning point in the way that the U.S. lives up to their ideals? Thank you very much, Barbara, and thank you for having me. I certainly agree with uh, President Obama that this could be a turning point. Where I would differ for, from him, though, is the nature of the turn that has to be made, the kind of pivot that has to be made uh, in order to ensure uh, non-repetition of the kind of uh, police behavior, the police killings and murders that we've recently seen in the United States. Uh, President Obama talks about reform. We've tried reform. Uh, we've tried to reform the police department. We've tried to rein in the police department to hold the police accountable. Uh, and those measures thus far have not worked. We need a true transition in the United States. We need a true pivot, a true correction, uh, a, 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 a true a movement uh, to a different reality for all U.S. citizens, and particularly for those of us who are African American. Um, and that requires a very, very deep fundamental change, not just reform. But when you talk about that change, is it a cultural change or do you think that there should be laws? I mean, you mentioned that the police is still not being held accountable in the way that it should be. So are we talking cultural change, legal change, perhaps trying to rein in the police or, or a bit of both? Well, cultural, you know, cu culture follows the... Uh law, as, as much as law is connected to culture, but this is beyond culture. This is about uh, an economic and political system that has, is, that the bankruptcy of which has left African Americans without voice and now threatens their very lives. Um, and uh, we see that not just in the pandemic around uh, COVID-19, but we see it also in the pandemic of police violence uh, that has uh, reared its head and made itself so obvious in the in these horrific videos that have been spread to millions around the world. Uh, so uh, we, there's more, this is about more than culture. This is about more than the culture of racism. This is about institution, deep institutional, uh, uh, deep institutional change uh, that's necessary uh, if we're ever to remove ourselves uh, sufficiently uh, from from the legacy of slavery in this country. That's the kind of change that uh, is required. And uh, the people who are in the street, the young people who are in the street question uh, whether ordinary politics, going back to the norm of uh, ordinary politics in this country, can actually get us to where we have to be. And that's the persistence. That's why those demonstrations are so persistent uh, and con and will continue to persist until uh, until our leadership provides another uh, way. Of course, a lot of people would argue that what we've seen in the United States for almost the past four years has not been ordinary politics. That there's a man in the White House who is particularly divisive, and we can see the protests outside the White House right now. Do you think that perhaps his presence might itself give momentum to to this change you're talking about, Barbara? Uh, Barbara, absolutely. We have in the White House a man who has endorsed violence. He's kid said about uh, Democrats, the only de good Democrat is a dead Democrat. Uh, he's talked about punching protesters. Uh, when we had the ma massacre in Charlottesville, he said there were good sides on uh, good people on both sides. He said that he's endorsed statements that immigrants should be shot. Uh, this is a this is a man who is, is deeply aligned with the vigilante clan, Ku Klux Klan tradition uh, in the United States, uh, both with respect to his reliance on uh, both, not just police violence, but also extra legal violence, uh, as well as uh, his, uh, his 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 uh, famous uh, infamous uh, racist attitudes uh, towards black and brown people in the United States. So so yes, has that deepened um, the sense of alienation, the sense of distrust, the sense of hopelessness in all of our communities? Absolutely, it has. Margaret Burnham, professor of law and director of the Civil Rights and Restorative Justice Project at Northeastern University. Madam, thank you so much for sharing your views. Thank you with so us. much. Thank you, Barbara, for having me.